Ah, Christian, welcome to Sydney. Congrats on the win last night. Uh, just talk us through your thoughts on how the game played out. Yeah, I think we, we started off okay and we were good on the ball and and of course we get the get the early goal. Um, periods I feel like we get very low and especially second half we get low and they push us back and I feel like our pressure is not sitting 100% the way we want it to and then then we get a bit low but we still show that we can create stuff on the counter and yeah it was a good win and it was well done by the defense of holding holding off for so long and they were fighting well and like ESO as well have a have a really good game so uh, you just mentioned the defense and Paul in particular before going going into this game and before the COVID break we conceded 15 goals in four games but we kept a clean sheet last night like you said Paul played an outstanding game how encouraging was it from the team's perspective for us to actually hold off Brisbane and, and keep them scoreless? Yeah, of course, it means a lot. Like you say, we have conceded a lot of goals. I think it's the second most in the league. So for us to get a clean sheet and for the defence to, to keep a clean sheet, it's, it's um, massively important and hopefully we can continue in that, that way. On a personal level, obviously you returned to the starting 11, you got on the score sheet, scored nice and early, but it was the only goal we needed to win. How good is that for you? Of course, for a striker, you, you want to score a goal in every game. And like, I'm not 100% happy with my performance except from the goal, but it, it leads to a win and, and we, get the, yeah, we get the three points. So it's, that's the most important. Going into the game, did Carl say anything to you specifically about how he wanted you to play? For, you know? Score goals. <laughs> that's the only thing he said, score goals. Perfect. He did that at least. Uh, before the team uh, departed to Adelaide, speaking of Carl, he, he did mention that when you came back from the break, you were one of the sharpest and one of the fittest players to return. During that break, what were you doing to keep yourself fit? We're running a lot. I have a girlfriend that also plays soccer, so we were training a lot together and pushing each other. Um, and it's like it wasn't a lot else to do. And the fact that I wanted to come back in good shape and. Yeah, so we went training every day, running, either along the beach or went to the pitch, into the parks and played soccer and, yeah, just training a lot. It was the, the team's first competitive match um, since the break. This is not obviously including the internal games we played at Cooper Stadium. Uh, we won the game, but how do you rate the level of the performance? How much more do we have to do to improve to get to the level that we want to for the remainder of the games? Yeah, I feel like we have a lot a lot more to to show and the potential is is there and we just need i think those minutes together and we're playing on a different in a different way right now and yeah i think i think we can show a lot more than we did but on the other hand we show that we are solid we're able to even though we're getting low we're keeping them off for, for a long period of time so i think we can uh, we have a lot more to show as well compared to what we did yesterday we're in Sydney now, obviously we're preparing to be in this hub for quite a while, look, it's not the best situation, but does it kind of give the team the opportunity to just focus on football and not have too many other distractions? I know you're going to be heavily involved in football for the you know, next three or four weeks, but is there a positive you can take out of this as we look to make finals and really go as far as we can in the competition? Is there a positive that we can just really, everyone can just really focus on that one goal? Yeah, I think, I think we can take something positive out of it. Like now we spend maybe a bit too much time together but we cannot like you say only focus on soccer it's nothing else like you get all the meals prepared for you you have yeah it's really all soccer right now and and of course that can that can come to a positive so we've got about five days now to get ready and used to the hub life before we play wellington phoenix how confident are you that we can put together another good shift against wellington in a few days and get another three points yeah, I think I think we will only get better. The more games we get together and the more we get to play, I think this team will team will just keep improving. So it's exciting to see.